that was the show. That was the show. That was the show with no mayo. And first time uh, me and you together, I I thought it went all right. Yeah, I thought it went great, didn't it? You know, if he, uh, you know, hurts his foot again or needs to (laughs) promote one of the various money spinners that he's got on on various different plates. I think um, we can't afford him anymore. I'm ready. Yeah, I know. It's going to get hard, isn't it? uh, I am worryingly cheap. (laughs) Throw that out there. Frighteningly available. Frighteningly available. (laughs) Concerningly (laughs) easy to reach. (laughs) Um, uh, I I did want to chat a bit more about Jellyfish, but we were were running out of the time. Um, I I got an email here from Abigail Kinsella who said, I attended a screening at Glasgow Film Theatre on Monday with a QA and a from director, co-writer James Gardner, who we're a bit excited about, the future of. Um, The story of a young teenage carer is incredibly moving, giving a modern day insight into life in Margate, struggling with school, young siblings, a dependent mum and a part-time job in an amusement arcade. Uh, The scene where the lead character is comforted by her younger brother and sister had the whole audience gasping with empathy for the three young people and wishing for better times for the family. Some hard-hitting laughs too, as Sarah, the main character, strives to begin a career as a stand-up comic. Please go and see this small independent film and be impressed with some breakthrough talent. Yeah, I mean, Liv Hill is... She's great, isn't she? She's something special in that film because she could have overhammed it so easily in so many moments and she just doesn't. There's too much to deal with and I like that. I haven't haven't got time for for tears right now. I've got to do this. And, and, And the moment where she eventually breaks down, it makes that so much more powerful, I think. Yeah. Because I, I felt like scream. It's, it, it's so frustrating, that movie, in the right ways, you know, because you're like, God, please, like, do this, do that. This is what needs to happen, not that. Yeah. You know, you're screaming at the film. And you right. can feel the weight that she's carrying. And it is a very, mm. again, it's a very physical performance. You can, it's like, it's weighing on her shoulders. You know, you mm. see that character carrying the family. And the moment when she says to the mother, all you have to do is go and sign on and you can't even yeah, do so that. Frustrating. But also it's heartbreaking because there's that terrible moment when she, when the mother says, I could get a job. And she says, you wouldn't get a job as a speed bump. And it's nasty. Mm. But, you know, it's what you hear is the her own frustration and rage. Definitely. And, you know, I, th- I thought it was very, very moving. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. It's one of those ones that you watch and you think, I can't wait to see what this guy does with yeah. money. You know, yeah, well, exactly. We've had those moments yeah, 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 before. Yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. You think of uh, uh, Edwards, you think of Monsters, you know, and you think, I wonder what this guy would do with a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gareth Edwards, I think, has continued to be a very, very interesting filmmaker, but I still think that Monsters...